This division problem is probably going to look a little difficult to you. And the reason why is not because it's hard or that it uses different strategies that you haven't used before, but because it involves some numbers that are often harder for fourth graders to remember, like seven. Multiplying your sevens is something that seems to be a little tricky. So let me show you how to do some long division with a seven. So I've made my house. I have my dad, mother, sister, brother, and I'm going to do my story, my long division story. So seven comes up to the door and it knocks. Hey, can I come in? So seven, sorry, six shows up to the door, but is six the same age or older than seven? No, it's younger, so it's not old enough to open the door by itself. So seven knocks on the door again. Hey, can you let me in? This time, six brings seven with him. So now we get to see how many times seven goes into 67. And you might think, that's a big number, Miss Stewart. Yeah, it's, it's a little bit of a big number. But we know our multiplication skills, which is the opposite of division. So let's do our dot system. I'm going to do seven big dots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I put a big number up there for you so you can see it. Now I'm going to do my dot system. If you don't know your multiplication facts, it's okay because you can use the dot system to help you. It is good to memorize your, your facts. If you're able to try, try to memorize those facts. It's going to help you out in the long run. But if you can't, don't worry about it. We've got the dot system. So I need to say this number seven, then count eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I say this number, 14, and then count 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. Now, I'm just going to pause for a moment. This feels like a lot of work, but is it hard work? I hope adding in fourth grade isn't hard work for you. Some people it might be, but most people it's not. Just remember, hard work and a lot of work are different. We're going to do the work, but it's not going to be hard. All right, let's keep going. Unpause. 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49. All right, we're getting closer. I'm trying to get 67 or maybe even higher. 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56. 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63. Oh, not there yet. Just to make sure, I'm going to try and go over, okay? 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70. Woo! And 70 is higher than 67. So I get to cross that sucker out. Look at all that work you did. All right, so let's count the, the circles. We're going to circle each number and count at the same time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine times it goes in. So I divided, check. And I also multiplied at the same time because what does seven times not, or yeah, nine equal? 63. Check. Already did both of the work together. Now, seven's trying to get into the house and meet everyone, right? So we need to try and get rid of it. To get rid of, we subtract. Seven minus three is four. And six minus six is zero. Wait a second, Miss Stewart. There's no one else in the house to bring down. 
guess that's everyone in the house to meet. But we have something left over. So we're gonna come up here and put R for remainder. And we had four left over. That's my four. That's it, y'all. Set 67 divided by seven is nine remainder four. Was it some work? Yeah, it was some work. We had to take our time and figure it out. But it wasn't super hard. Just a lot of steps. You got this.